This week on Settling Down, we join newlyweds James and Elena Whittle on their quest to find the perfect home to start their next adventure, raising a family. James is a retired adventurer who is looking for a peaceful home life and to spend lazy days fishing. Elena is a soldier for hire, looking for a home that is close to some action. I'm done with the adventuring life, you know? I've seen everything Eternum has to offer. And now I want to put my feet up in front of a fireplace and get some rest. He might just want to wither away with the rest of the lost out there, but I'm not ready to hang up my warhammer just yet. I still want to be within a reasonable commute to a corrupted portal or two. The couple have a budget of 15,000 gold, and their realtor has identified three locations that would be perfect for a forever home. First up, house number one in Everfall. For house number one, we have a gorgeous three-story with beautiful stone walls and two fireplaces. And Everfall is a perfect location for a young family like yourselves. It feels a little empty. You say empty room. I say blank canvas. There's a workshop just down the street where you can make anything and everything you need. Wouldn't it be nicer to put your own mark on your new home? Oh, honey, there are some gorgeous trees in the forest for plenty of lumber. We can craft beautiful furniture to fill up the house. Yeah, I can see myself spending sunny days out fishing here. And just look at this view! Uh, is that an enormous shattered obelisk over there? Does it just kind of float frozen like that? Oh yes, the locals even have a name for it. Shattered obelisk! Isn't it beautiful? Ooh, darling! It's absolutely swarming with ancient guardians. We could stroll down on a Sunday morning, bring a picnic, smash their bones into dust for a couple of hours. If we're starting a family, I don't know if I'm really comfortable having a little one running around near that thing. Maybe we should check out the next house. House number two is a beautiful home in Weaver's Fed, nestled in the marshland to the east of Aternum. Now I know what you're going to say. It's a bit run down. I prefer to think of it as having character. Sure, it's a little rustic. The swamp mist can creep in if you're not careful, and you probably don't want to stray too far from the firelight at night. But this house is in an up-and-coming area. We have a new governor who has promised lower taxes, and you could really make this home your own. And it has a fireplace that you wanted. I can really see a life for us here. The wind creaking the floorboards, the pitter-patter of tiny feet running back home after being chased by a famine guys? Wait. And this town is so huge. I can do all my crafting around town, do a little business at the trading post, go for a walk to some of the ruins nearby. You're right, but are there any good fishing spots around here? Oh, of course. There are some beautiful ponds to cast your line in, if you don't mind the ancient guardians roaming around. <laughs> right. Was there another property to look at? Last but not least is house number three, located in humble Reekwater, a haven for expert anglers and adventurers alike. Oh my, what is that smell? I can taste the air. Why, that's the sweet aroma of everything around you decaying. Isn't it something? You know, I could get used to that. Reminds me of my childhood somehow. Now keep that childlike sense of adventure in mind because this is technically a treehouse. Oh wow, I always wanted one of those. I didn't think you'd get this excited, honey. Look at this huge space where a window should be. And it looks like the tavern is only three or four trees over. I don't know. I don't really get a sense of community here. I believe this area is currently under the control of the syndicate, so some smart thinkers like yourselves are sure to find other sharp minds around to connect with. Oh, we've been in the syndicate since we came to Eternum. It's how we met, actually. We were both doing a faction mission. I was cleaving a lost soldier in Twain when- <clears throat> Now, I hear Reekwater is best known for its fishing. You heard right. There's rivers, lakes, and the sea to fish in. And the dryads tend to leave you alone if you don't get too close to their parts of the forest. Interesting. I think we need to talk over our options. So, where should this lovely couple settle down? Everfall, Weaver's Fin, or Reekwater? The choice is yours.